With us now is Lana, and she is with Sheer Bliss. And let me tell you something, she truly is Sheer Bliss. Welcome, how are you? Thank you, glad to be here. You've had such an extraordinary journey. You didn't grow up in America. Um, I grew up in St. Louis and moved to New York, but where did you come from? I come from Russia. Okay, so what was that experience like for your family? When did you come over? And tell us about that journey. It wasn't easy, it was okay. 24 years ago, and I grew up in a family of very high educated um, medicals, doctors, uh, accountings, and for parents to leave everything behind and come to the country where we had no language and nothing knew nothing about it, it was very hard for them. So they had to start from scratch, washing floors, babysit, I mean, waited. We did everything we could have to get ourselves to where we are today. And I want to thank you, my parents, for giving us this opportunity to three kids, because each and every one of us are very successful. And it really did take that. It took a determination. And I believe that for you, even in your journey, Lana, as a mom of four, you're very determined. You're Thank very you. determined to live the best life for yourself and for your children. I think that comes from the parents that gives you that. When you see what they do for you, how much they struggle, you have that power to prove and to provide so much better to your kids because you've seen how much your parents could have done for you. So without my family, without my husband, I wouldn't be where I am today. And it's your work ethic. Yes. Right? But when you love what you do, it doesn't really feel like work. You can put in long hours and... Yes. So I used to work six days a week till one, two o'clock in the morning, doing a lot of shows, doing a lot of makeovers. And I would have still up today, work seven days a week, but I have kids to raise. <laughs> so I try to juggle between two. And color. Uh, you told me that you loved the color of my hair, so and I said thank you to you. Beautiful. Uh, I've thank seen you. transformation today that I looked at the shows before. Gorgeous. Suits you beautifully. I appreciate that. Thank you. What got you involved in that? Are you also an artist? Like, do you like to paint? Or how, what got you into being the As colorist? As a child, actually, good question. Since I was five years old, I've been doing crochet, macrame, needle pointing. And up today, I do all those things with the hands. And I think that patience and art of doing that for years got me into the hair industry because you have to be an artist to be a hairdresser, to be a colorist. And you've done so many um, famous people as well as everyday heroes. Uh, what's one particular type of hair that you feel you can absolutely help with color? Because I have this fine hair, right? So does color sometimes help the texture of someone's hair as well as the look? It does. It okay. changes a lot. Actually, my recent video that blew up a lot on a TikTok is a lot of girls go through a lot of makeovers. And most of the time, there's some kind of life changes, routines happens in the life that makes us change ourselves, women. And I think loving yourself and looking great in the morning and mostly for yourself, not for anybody else, is what gives us life sparkle and shine every day. I think it starts with the hair, the crown that you wear on your head. I would agree. Right. You know, like you can smile with your eyes, you know, and your hair just kind of adorns it. It's like that first thing that somebody it sees. It reflects the beauty. It's the confidence we carry with the pride every day. Your children, are you always like fixing and doing their hair too? And they're like, mommy, mommy, or do I they like it? I have three boys. Okay. And you know what? I was, I was determined to get a girl even if I had to go for 10. <laughs> and my little one is a girl princess. And okay. Yes. She, poor girl had to experience everything on her hair. <laughs> You're board certified, and not many people have that accommodation. Tell us about that. Yes, every stylist in America has to be licensed okay. in order to be a hairdresser, but not many of us an American board certified color. So I believe in New York City, between 14 to 20 of us only, board certified colors. When you're mixing a color, how do you know that what you're mixing in the cup is going to look great? On your client. Years of experience. I had to say you had to mess up your heads in the beginning of your career okay. <laughs> to get to where you are. It's, it's a chemistry. It's talent. It takes years to get where you are visually just to mix up seven, eight tubes to get that one color. And I don't think people realize that. I think people just think, or even painters, sometimes they think that you just squeeze the color out of the tube and you paint with the color that's in the tube, but you don't. If you're an actual artist, you're blending, you're mixing, you're creating. It's an art. It's okay. an art. Like I always say, you need to have a white, clean canvas board because if you're going to put a red paint on a beige tone, you're not going to get that beautiful red. But if you're going to put it on a white, clean canvas, you will get that richness of the red. Same thing with the color. You need to see everything underneath before you put something. And it comes with time. 
when people started recognizing you as the artist that you are, you know, articles were written and things started happening. How did that make you feel inside? And, you know, were your parents or who, who did you celebrate that with? Very proud. My family, my husband, my kids, and my friends. Very, very proud. We have a great team at Sheer Bliss that been with us for over 17 years. And that makes me very proud. It's my second family. Well, I thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. For uh, it was such me. a delight to have you on, and you are super talented. So it was fun to just kind of shine a light on you today and continued success. Thank you so and much. All you do. It's really fun. Um, and yeah, today I'm, I'm totally like living it up, and, and you look glamorous and fun too. And thank you. It really you does make people like, you know, it celebrate does. life. And the main rule is you don't do it for anybody, you okay. do it only for yourself. And uh, TikTok and Instagram, if people wanted to see your work and engage with you, they could follow you. Lana's Blonde Balayage. Love it. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Been visiting right here with Lana. She followed her dreams, and you can follow your dreams too. Never give up on yourself.